Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Northside Plow with Pop One Podcast here with another feature match from our boys over at Pandas Paradise. Today we got my boy Tyler playing that brand new OP08 Animal Zorro. It's so crazy, man. You guys will see in a second how nuts this deck can be. And me being who I am, I'm playing Anel. This will honestly be the last time you guys see me play Anel, at least for a while. Um, I'm switching over to a new deck. Anel is just not good anymore, guys. And we all just gotta, gotta just, just accept it, man. It, it sucks, but Anel is not a good deck anymore. So here we are playing against Zoro. It's it's wild. Before we get started, let's talk about our sponsors, Dueling Guard. Yes, Dueling Guard, your one-stop shop for all your deck boxes, binders, play mats, anime art cards, all your TCG accessories. Make sure you use code POP1 at checkout for 5% off. It helps us out a lot. Let's get into the match. All right, Animal Zoro. So it's the Zoro leader that we all know and love with a lot of the OP08 cards. So uh, we go into it, he plays a monster on Don 1, and then going into my turn, I swing big, and he uses this damn counter card. So let's look at this card. It is called Just Shut Up and Come With Us. And it's funny, whenever they use it, they, they say Just Shut Up, and when I first <laughs> heard him say it, I was like, bro, why are you telling me to shut up? <laughs> but anyways, it's a counter. Look at the five t uh, cards from the top of your deck. Play one animal type character with a cost of three or less. Then place the rest at the bottom of your deck. So you just get a free body off the counter. It doesn't give your character any type of boost or anything. It's literally just a counter that is a searcher plus a summoner. It's wild. And you'll see throughout the match that he this board just goes out of nowhere. And me, I have not really been paying attention to the OP08 meta at all. Um, actually, this game is what got me into the OP08 meta. And uh Man, I, I tell you, I, I tell you, man, it, it's just wild. Um, OP08 is nothing to uh, to look past. I can tell you that they got a lot of great cards in that set, and uh, it's definitely made a lot of new decks very powerful, and a lot of the older decks really powerful. So as you can see, we are on a four dawn turn, and my boy Tyler is uh, sitting. Uh, yeah, he took that one back because he couldn't actually summon it. It's sitting on four bodies already. And you know, the leader effect, attach one Dawn, give uh, characters plus 1k, really is uh, a situation. So I'm playing Anel. I do play some of the new OP08 cards, and we should see some in this match. Um, but against Zoro, I don't know if I need to be going for board, if I need to be just swinging face. It's just a crazy thing. And he plays another one of the counters, which uh, is nuts. So I think in this deck, you're wanting to search that counter, man, because it is so good. I think that's one of the new cards as well. Um, a lot of these animal cards are commons. I know the three cost chopper right there is from OP04. Um, the three cost secret rare or super rare is from OP08. And uh, yeah, so I played the new Nami from OP08. It is basically just a better Gadatsu. You trash a card with a trigger and it KOs a five or less. So it's pretty good. And I was very excited to put it in my deck for the OP08 format. But after this locals of me only winning one round out of five rounds, I've decided to put the deck up, man. I wanna go back to winning. So um, I'm, I'm going to definitely uh, be cooking the next few days for our following locals. But in this match, Tyler attaches one Dawn to Zoro. He attaches another Dawn to, I think the card is um, Polar Bear or something like that. Hiking Bear, that's what it is. And uh, he's just gonna be swinging at me and I'm gonna do what Anel does and take life because I just haven't sat in front of this deck before, so I'm not really too sure how fragile it is or how strong it is. I counter out that swing with the Frankie because I know it's a red deck and I'm like, okay, he's got rush cards, obviously. So I need to kind of watch out for that. He could play the three cause Zoro. Um, could play a kid killer. Uh, I think he might run the Luffy. Also, you got to think about the um, the dragon card that came out from OP07. That's a crazy rush card. 
there's a lot of stuff with red and anytime i sit in front of a red deck i know that these things can come and uh it's very stressful and it's scary at times so little old me with a leader swing and guess what he plays it's funny because when he plays it he goes just shut up and come with us and i'm just like yo dude <laughs> Why is this man telling me to shut up? But he plays that new blocker chopper from EB01, which is si seeing a crazy spike. And I guess it's front for this deck. Um, there's another one too. Just uh, a great blocker. That's just what it is. Doing those, those counters, man. I mean, it, you guys can see he's already played three of them. And uh, I, if you see three of those counters playing the Zoro deck, I think you got a good chance of probably taking the game home. So he counters out of my Nami swing. I am going to drop a Anel and just swing seven at life. We are definitely in a format to where, as a yellow player, you can't just slap cards down and, and hope to win anymore. It's, uh, One Piece has changed a lot, man, and it's a very, there, there's a lot of skill going into this game. I mean, it, it's it's really crazy. Um, the, the game has, has changed a lot in a good way. I'm not, I'm not saying that the game is in a bad position by any means, um, but it's also cool to see that old leaders can can really act up like uh, the Zoro does. And maybe one day Anel can come back, but right now, as my personal advice, just stay away from the deck. It ain't that good. So that is the new Bonnie card from OP08. She is uh, kind of like a Shirahoshi effect, draw two trash one. So it's a nice filter out in the deck. Um, and it's cool whenever if you play her you can attach a dawn and anytime your opponent takes a life You can um, activate that trigger effect um, As long as she has a dawn attached, so it, it's kind of cool We've already activated leader effect um, And healed so he's gonna get me down to zero life. I'm going to beige the chopper I'm thinking now. Okay. He's gonna play some sort of rush and he does he plays the kid killer and I literally do not have it. This is like the quickest game that I've been bodied in in a long time. And uh, it's just wild. Yeah, that's me asking. Hey, let me see that shut up card. Show the camera. <laughs> no focus on that. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, good games, Tyler. A very short video today. But we do have a few more matches. And stay tuned because we are definitely going to be taking OP08 by Storm. Um, yeah, this is just me saying, yeah, I had counter. I had a shit ton of counter. Just not enough for um, six swings on my seven dawn turn. I, I, he also had me on an odd curve, but, you know, I don't think that the, the anything would have been different. It just happens like that. But yeah, guys, if you guys are new here, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to be dropping a lot of videos. I have a new video concept coming soon. Um, following a lot of our locals that are building these OP08 decks. I want to see what they think about the new format and what they think about all these new decks coming out. So we'll be getting a more detailed commentation and uh, just like interaction with the players over at our locals to see how they're liking the format and how they can move forward in becoming the king of the pirates. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace.